welcome back to Story Time. Today we're going to be talking about insects, and we're going to be reading some stories about some insects and singing some songs about some insects. I even have a special song for you today on the ukulele that I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello. Wash your hands. Did you brush your teeth? Did you comb your hair? Did you put on some clothes? Yeah. Did you eat some food? Good. And this is the way we wash our hands. Wash our hands. Wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands early in the morning. This is the way we wash our face. Wash our face. Wash our face. This is the way we wash our face early in the morning. Morning. This is the way we put on our clothes, put on our clothes, put on our clothes. This is the way we put on our clothes early in the morning. This is the way we eat our food, eat our food, eat our food. This is the way we eat our food early in the morning. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth early in the morning. Good job. Okay, so it's time for our special song. Okay, it's Shoe Fly Don't Bother Me. Have you ever heard that song before? Shoe Fly Don't Bother Me. You ever heard that song before? Okay, so I'm gonna play it for you. And we're gonna do it on a ukulele. Oh my! 
fly, tiny little fly, tiny little fly sees great big toes. You see those great big toes? Yeah? Tiny, tiny little fly sits on the elephant's nose. Great big elephant winks one eye, says to himself, I'm gonna catch that fly. Great big elephant winks the other eye, tramp, crush, tramp, but off flies the fly. My oh my, tiny little fly, tiny little fly says, what? What's this here? What do you think it is? Mighty big. Great big hippo and settles on his ear. Great big hippo winks one eye says to himself, I'm gonna catch that fly. Great big hippo winks another eye. Roll, splash, roll. But off flies the fly. Oh my, tiny little fly. Tiny little fly sees some stripy paws. It's a great big tiger and settles on her claws. Great big tiger winks one eye, says to herself, I'm gonna catch that fly. Great big tiger winks the other eye, swoop, snatch, swoop, but off flies the fly. Gotta turn the page, Tony. Time's back. Oh, that's right. So there's multiple. This, this is a cool page right here. You ready? Great big elephant, tramp, crush, tramp. Great big hippo, roll, squish, squirrel, roll. Great big tiger, swoop, snatch, swoop. Let's see what it's got behind. <gasps> oh, me. Can I see all this? Caused a lot of trouble, huh? Mm -hmm. And the tiny fly, 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 fly. You don't see that? Pretty cool. Tiny little fly winks one eye.
is a butterfly instead. Good job. You ready to do it again? Yeah? Lily caterpillar, he wiggles up a tree. He wiggle long, he wiggle short, he wiggle right at me. I put him in a box. Don't go away, I said. But when I opened up the box, he was a butterfly instead. Good job. Hush, little rooster, really cock and eel do. Hush, little kitty, with me. Remember a joke? Knock knock. Who's there? Do we? Do we who? Do we want to read another story? Yes, we do. Okay, so our second book is Insects Are My Life. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <You. coughs> by Megan McDonald. Okay. The night that Andrew caught the fireflies in a jar, Amanda set them all free. This was the first real clue that Amanda Frankenstein was crazy about insects, bugs, dozens of bugs. Cousins of bugs, big bugs, small bugs, any bugs, all bugs, creepy bugs, crawly bugs, slimy bugs, climby bugs, bugs with wings, bugs that sing. How would you like to live in a peanut butter jar? She asked her brother. Bugs are people too, you know. That night, she drew a giant dragonfly on the dinosaur poster in his room. And she slipped her ugliest rubber cockroach under his pillow before bed. Amanda exclaimed, uh, examined bugs <clears throat> with her detective kit. Under rocks, hidden on leaves, and in sidewalk chop cracks, she counted seven different kinds of the in a, in a single afternoon, including a seven-spotted ladybug. Amanda collected bugs, dead ones, of course. The skin of a grasshopper, the shell of a cicada, a perfect pair of dragonfly wings found after a thunderstorm. She collected bug cases, once she, uh, once she hatched hundreds of tiny praying mantises right under her sock drawer. She decided, or she collected mosquito bites. She counted twenty-two bites on one leg, as she and she was proud. She is crazy about bugs, isn't she? Amanda Frankenstein was a was Bug's best friend. She always stepped around spiderwebs. She hid the fly swatter. She rescued fire ants from getting stepped on in the kitchen. She clicked her tongue at bats to confuse them and keep them from eating so many insects. Amanda dreamed of hanging upside down on the ceiling like a fly. She imagined walking on water as nimbly as a water spider. Once she tried crawling 40 miles on all fours like an ant and got as far as the backyard fence. That's how far an ant could walk if he was a person, she explained to her mother uh, when her mother called her inside. Find something else to do until dinner, Amanda. So 
Amanda watched her favorite movie, The Fly, two times in a row. My sister, the insect, said her brother. Amanda ignored him. Tonight, he would find her trick ice cube in his, in his milk, the one with the dead fly in the center. After dark, Amanda opened her window wide and turned on the light so all the light, all the night bugs would fly in. She spied a yellow hawk moth, a garden tiger moth, a lacewing fly. This is until her mother find out, thanks to Andrew. Oh, me. No bugs in the house, Amanda. When you are old enough to have your own house, you can let have all the bugs you want there. When I am grown, all grown up, I'm going to be an entomologist, she told her mother, and hatch rare butterflies in my living room. You can't be that, said her brother. Then you can't be a dead bone digger either. Paleon, pa paleonologist. They study dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are neat. Bugs are slimy. Insects are not slimy. Insects are fascinating. Insects are my life. On the first day of school, Amanda's mother begged her to wear her blue dress with the pink flowers. But Amanda insisted on wearing her ladybug t-shirt that said, Amanda Frankenstein, friend of bugs. She carried her new magnifying glass in a special pocket of her backpack. She wore her purple dragonfly pen for good luck. Miss Scorpio, her teacher, had a dress had a yeah, had a dress of color of luna moth and hair like a beehive. She led the class in a song. And the ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The last one stops to suck her thumb, and Amanda sang the loudest. When it was time to choose an instrument to play, Amanda chose the triangle. You'll have to share with Victor, Miss Scorpio told her. Victor had squinty little eyes like a slug and two spikes of hair that acted like an antenna. Can you use those to smell? Amanda asked. Bug off, bug eyes. He hissed, pointing to her glasses. The other kids laughed. Four eyes, four eyes, they chanted. Amanda has four eyes. They're compound eyes, Amanda told them, like a wasp's. After that, Amanda played the tambourine by herself. The teacher took them on a bear hunt over the mountains through the forest. I see a cave. Can't go over it. Can't go around it. Have to go through it. Amanda pretended with the others to look for a bear, but secretly she searched for an African killer beetle. During circle time, Miss Scorpio read the very quiet cricket, and Amanda made the cricket sounds. Cree, cree, cree because the computer chip in the back of the book was broken. When it, came, when it came her turn to recite a poem, Amanda made one up. Bugs are great, bugs are good, bugs live in your neighborhood. It's a pretty good poem. Rhymes and everything. All right, that afternoon, Victor put away a hairy spider on her seat. Amanda held it in her hands and pulled out her magnifying glass to study it. A wolf spider, she announced excitedly. Did you know that spiders are anthropods? Amanda Frankenstein, you're a monster, Victor said. And you, Victor, are less than a flea. Ooh. You are a stink bug on the leaf of life. All right, that's enough. Time out for both of you. Amanda had to sit in a chair and face the wall for ten minutes because of Victor. Tomorrow, Victor would find a Chinese water bug in his lunchbox. I'm never going back to school, Amanda announced. When she got home, she wrapped herself in a blanket and hid inside her cocoon. She tasted leaves and bark. She painted butterfly wings 
with eye spots like owls on them to scare away animals. And creeps like Victor, she tied the wings to her arms and flew down three steps. First to fly, she called. Amanda Frankenstein, get your feet off the table, her mother scowled at dinner that night. But butterflies have taste buds on their feet, Amanda said. Well, please keep your taste buds on the floor, said her mother. The next day was worse. When Amanda danced in circles like a bee, no other bees followed. When she pulled out her Mexican jumping beans for show and tell, no one believed they were caterpillars inside. And when Amanda pretended to have ears on her knees, like a cricket, the teacher told her to sit up straight and listen. Amanda Frankenstein thinks she's a bug, yelled Victor. A cricket. Cree, cree. Uh-oh, she's not very happy right now. Victor, you are a worm, Amanda told him. I thought you liked bugs. Worms are not insects, Victor. How do you know? Because insects are my life. Not again, you two, Amanda. Come sit over here by Maggie today. I like her glasses, whispered Amanda. They're for seeing underwater, Maggie said. Like whirl, whirl gig beetles, asked Amanda. Like crocodiles, Maggie grinned wildly, showing two pointy teeth, reptiles on my left. Oh, well, looks like they are about to start a very beautiful friendship together. She likes insects, she likes crocodiles. We can all share our interests, right? Yeah. So that's very cool. I hope that you learned some things about insects in that book. So we're going to do one last thing. We're going to find insects. We're going to find insects on here. And what I'm going to ask you to go outside and see what you can find, okay? All right, so can you find the ant? Do you see the ant right here? It's over here? Yeah, that's right, that's the ant. Okay, what about a um, dragonfly? Is that a dragonfly? No, that's not a dragonfly. What about this? Is that is this a dragonfly? No? Oh, this is a dragonfly. Nice, yeah. Dragonflies, pretty. What about ladybugs? Do you see the ladybug? Yeah, you're right, right there. Ladybugs are red. Sometimes they're also orange in color, right? Okay, what about the worm? Do you see the worm? Yeah, that's right, right there. Good job. And last one, do you see the bumblebee? Yeah, that's right, right there. Bumblebee. Good job. Alright, well we will see you next week. I hope that you enjoy this and I hope that you will go outside and see how many bugs you can find. What kind of different bugs you can find. Yeah, so you can find an ant or a worm. Actually worms in there today. They're not actually insects, are they? Pretty interesting. Um, but they are creepy crawlies. Um, and then, let's see, um, what else can you find? Can you find a butterfly or a ladybug? See how many bugs you can find outside today. Alright, well I hope that you enjoy 